Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our budget kindred series, still looking at the elves. This is our second last video on elves, so we're getting close to the end. The non-creature elf spells. So yeah, usually we talk about uh, kindred, we're talking about the creatures. Now we're looking at the non-elf spell, or the elf spells that are not actually creatures at all. Once again, their main color is green. This is much less green. There's still quite a bit of green, I guess, but yeah. Uh, they have Banadorks, uh, buffs, all kinds of win cons, all kinds of flexibility. They are one of the, the original creature types in the game. So over the last 30 years, they've got a little bit of everything. You're really not like stuck with anything if you have elves. Once again, this is the ninth video on the elf creature, non-creature spells. We're only doing one more elf one. Tomorrow we're going to do, cover the elf commanders and how to build them. And th the budget on this one is $2 or less. Um, a lot of these have been even lower, but yeah, this is a regular budget of under $2. Using the TCG market value price, not a sponsor, not one bit. Also, we are now on Facebook, so if you haven't yet, please hit like and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff. And you can also uh, go to Facebook and find MTG Nerd in Korea on Facebook. Number five. Okay. Serpent Soldier for two and a black. This is an artifact. It says, whenever an elf you control dies, exile it. Sounds bad. Kind of is, but it's kind of good too. Tap it, pay two life. Until end of next turn, you may cast a creature spell from among cards uh, exiled with Serpent Soldier. So it lets you cast a spell that's been exiled. Until your next turn. Um... So you're, the main thing with elves a lot of time is like keeping those key elves, like your anthem elves or maybe your damage boost or your win con elves on the battlefield. This is gonna like catch them and basically let you throw them straight back into the battlefield again. So yeah, it'll do some work. Uh, if you've got a lot of recursion, this may be a bit worse. Remember, if this gets destroyed, you can't, you're kind of just stuck with all your elves in exile then. So this is potentially a, a bit of a gamble here, I guess I'd say. 18 cents. Number four. Uh, Gladrim Ambush for three and a green is an instant. Create X, uh, uh, sorry, X11 green elf warrior creature tokens where X is the number of attacking creatures. Attacking creatures, not creatures attacking you, just attacking creatures in the whole board. All of the creatures that are attacking. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn by non-elf creatures. So if someone has non-elves, it's just a fog effect. It turns them off, right? Your elves can still block them and do damage to them, but any damage done to your elves is just going to like get cancelled unless they also have elves. Anyway, 150. This is kind of expensive for a fog effect, but it's going to like do double time for you. Number three. Crown of Scamfar. This is a weird one. Two green green. It is an aura. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each elf you control and has reach. Adding reach always oh, nice. Plus one plus one for each elf. You're going to have a lot of elves probably so this is going to be very strong for two and a green return crown of scamfire from your graveyard to your hand so this is what actually makes it good in my uh, what at least to my thinking it is very much like a backwards equipment is what i call it so usually i don't like uh uh enchantments just for this reason or auras i should say just for this reason that like equipment exists right you can, if the creature gets destroyed, you can just pay some mana and equip it to another creature. Here, you're paying the mana to get it back out of the graveyard. So it's a little more weird, but same general idea, right? If you want to re-equip it, you're going to pay three mana, and then you're going to pay the cost to cast it again. It might end up being more expensive than some equipment, but for what it does, it's quite good. And... Uh, this might get around a lot of effects that, like, even, you know, if they have uh, enchantment removal or something like that, 
This you can just get back to your hand anyway. If they have artifact removal, that's going to the graveyard. It's just not, you know, the equip thing doesn't let you get it back to hand. This is actually a nice little safety net to it. And it'll be 48 cents. Number two. Elvish Guardians for two and a green. This is an enchant land. Even I read this first and I thought it was like a sorcery or something. Nope, it's an enchantment. Whenever enchanted land is tapped, for mana, its controller adds green mana for to his library, or sorry, uh, to his library, to his mana pool for each elf in play. Once again, each elf in play. So if someone else has some elves too, you're getting more mana. And every time you tap a land, it's just going to make this pile of mana equal to the number of elves in play. Oh my gosh. That gets carried away super, super fast. Um, this is basically, yeah, I called it Cabal Coffers for Elves. Yeah, except, yeah, maybe a little bit better even. So, yeah, crazy good. I gotta order this for my Elf deck that I play against my students. They're getting pretty worthless, so maybe it's fair. Anyway, 97 cents. Number one. Okay, Herald unites the elves for uh, two Golgari, black green. So it's a saga. Again, first step, mill three cards. You may put an elf or Tyvar card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Most Tyvars are elves, so it's kind of weird they specified that, but I guess it's planeswalkers as well. So anyway, elf recursion, just automatically. Good start. Next up is, um, oh boy, put a plus one plus one counter on each elf you control. So you just, again, elves are all about getting a whole bunch of elves. Just going to bring the elf back and then put plus one plus one on all of your elves. Finally, whenever an elf you control attacks this turn, chuck a creature an opponent controls gets minus one minus one until end of turn. So just your elves attacking becomes a removal spell basically like what oh my yeah this can this is just everything you need in in an elf kindred deck this is like getting your key piece back getting your bonus getting removal for anything that's you know anything that's bothering you um just mean it's only 17 cents crazy i'm already ordering this as well A list, okay. Serpent Soul Jar is 18 cents. Gladrim Ambush is 150. Arna Scampfar is 48 cents. Elvish Guidance is 97 cents. Finally, Herald Unites the Elves is 17 whole cents. Alright, take it easy.